Okay guys, we got this uh, 15 GMC um, Equinox and it looks like it sets a code P0412 and P2440 secondary air valves um, control circuit secondary air injection system cut off I did notice that it looks like there might be a new pump down there because there's a shiny new connector Okay guys, so let's go in here, let's go to secondary air injection Let's see, let's record this. Let's just pick our secondary air stuff and we'll see what happens when we start this. Let's see, record. Sounds lovely. See the 1.4 psi, pretty much 1.8. Is it done? stopped yeah I may have still been putting pressure when it happened um, let's see I don't know I think 1.7 might be a little high let's see Secondary air, active test, secondary. So right now we're on. Well, let's go back and see if we set any codes. Yeah, stuck off. Oh, cut off, stuck open. Okay guys, if we start the car up, and we turn the pump on, right here, you can see we're only building 1.4, 1.3 PSI. Turn it off. Oh, it says solenoids open. So we really need the solenoids closed. Um, so the solenoids are stuck open. Let's see. I didn't realize they get commanded open. Um, so we need to be able to do this test with them closed. See, is there a bank one and bank two? I don't know how we can check this. Okay, guys. So we unplug these connectors on the uh, on the solenoids here, so it won't open it. I'm gonna command the pump on, and we'll see if that changes it. And I'll, I'll show you the in service information too. I should show you guys this first. Um, let's see. Let's try to turn this on. Let's see what our pressures do. Is it not going to run it? Let's see. 
Oh, I think I was in the wrong thing. It says on. Why is our pressure not going up? Are they stuck open? Hmm. Do they default to open? Let me show you guys something. Um, so if we look here, it says during phase one, secondary air pump, air injection, shut off and check valves are activated. Normal secondary air function occurs. Expected pressure is five to 13 KPA, 0 0.7 to 1.9 PSI. During phase two, only a secondary air pump is activated. Shut off valve, shut off and check valve are closed. Pressure sensor performance and shut off and check valve deactivation are tested. Pressure should be 2.0 to 3.6. And then during phase three, neither the secondary air pump or air injection shut off valve or check valves are activated. Secondary air pump is deactivated and pressure should equal barrel. So that's where we're at. So and if you look, Phase one is passed. Um, phase two is when the code sets. Okay, guys, let's clear these codes. Let's see. Okay, codes are cleared. Let's go back. Let's go to secondary air again so we can just see our pressure. Um, sorry, live data. Secondary air. I think I recorded it though, too, so we could go back to that if it doesn't run. gonna run no because it's, it's not a cold start that's why hmm okay I just need to find out if they're in a normally closed spot or not here we go so we I did record it let's see what happens here Let's see there we go so it's 1.4 right that's what we were wanting and then it goes up to 1.78 you see that 1.78 1.79 Set that there. Oh, what happened? Did I disconnect from the car? Data manager. There we go. I did disconnect from the car. So what we're supposed to be? Let's see. Let's go back to this. Okay, during phase one, it should be 0.7 to 1.9. On phase two, it's supposed to be. 2.0 to 3.0 and I don't think we ever hit that 3.0 so during phase one they're activated during phase two they're supposed to be closed and I don't think we ever get that closed portion hmm see so does it tell you does it tell us if it's closed No. Okay, so we got to figure out how to test these closed. Okay, guys, so I, I got an idea. So what we're going to do is, I looked up here, we got this secondary air pump relay. Goes to the motor. I'm just going to turn this on, because key on, the solenoids are closed, or turned off. So I looked in here, here's our relay, pin or 70, it says air pump. So we'll take this out. We'll use our U activate and we'll turn this on. Okay guys, so if we turn this on, we have no pressure. Hmm. 
That's weird. Um, I thought they would have closed. Um, let's go back to secondary air. Oops, not that. Um, guess we'll try to force the valves closed. I don't know. Maybe they're leaking? That's the wrong thing. Let's go to active test. Is it active test? Secondary air. There we go. Okay. So we should probably have more pressure right now. That's weird. Okay, so we're going to have to figure this out. Okay, guys, it's been a couple days since uh, I looked at this Equinox with the secondary air. We were working on it. Um, I'm going to try to record everything with the uh, Altel and see if we get our secondary air code. Um, let's see, let's get an engine. Let's see if our codes are in here because I don't know if we have any codes. Display codes. Secondary air. There we go. So we got oh pump relay probably because I think I took the relay out. Just clear these codes. Oops. Okay, let's turn the car off. Turn it back on. Let's go to data. I've ever used the alt or the snap on for this because snap on does way better at graphing. Let's go to, do we have secondary air? Evap and air, okay. Um, custom, I hope it turns it on, let's see. Let's see if it says cold startup. that and then we'll look at our secondary errors. I think that's everything. Uh, looks like it. Just bring, let's bring map up and barrow just in case. Let's see, okay. Let's get a graph view. There we go. We have, we have our voltages. Do we have pressure? Secondary air pressure, yep. Secondary air is running. It says it's cold started up. See our pressure right there, or our voltage. It's a pressure 1.5. And then it says when it closes that valve, right, our pressure is supposed to go up to like 3 something. Yeah, we went up to 1.8. You see that? Look at that. So that's our problem. And now it shut the system off. Hmm. So that's how it's getting the leak. Because it's not seeing what it's supposed to have. So let's save this. Let's pause it. Okay, so now we gotta check for our leak. Um, I think these valves go bad in the back of the head. Oops. Took my lanyard off. Tool. So I think we're gonna have to check these here in the back. I don't know if we can get them apart or not. Looks like they might break. Okay guys, so what I did was I disconnected the, the uh, secondary air valves right there. Watch this. So we're gonna go down to secondary air. Injection. Oops, this isn't the right thing. Oh, let me start this up. Let's start this up. I'll show you guys what I did. Um, let's see if we can grab a piece of paper real quick so I can show you guys this. Um, let's see, do we have any like... Okay, here we go, napkin. Fifth power, fifth power, watch. We got our Apple controls. So right now, 
back here. You'll see. No movement out of that, right? It's out of the middle all back here. Compared to this one? No. No movement, right? So we don't have any leaking. Oh, you know what we can do? Use the wall. Let's use it. Trusty glove. So we put a glove back here. Put it on this. Nothing. Put the glove on this other side. Nothing, right? So if we go into secondary air valve. And we open this. Watch. Give it 60 seconds, we'll come back here. So we're going back in the secondary air. See if we can turn it on. There we go, it's on. Take this back here. So we might have quad ports. So we're gonna have to go there. <sighs> um, we'll shut this off for like a couple seconds and then we'll check that one again. Let's turn this pump on. Yeah, it's vibrating. It is filling. Way less. Way less than this other side. The other side, though. Yeah, there's much more flow. Way more flow. So we're gonna have to check the ports. Okay, you can shut it off. So I have rubber band, two gloves back there. You see that? What? Two gloves are rubber band. Yeah, I saw that. So now, whatever. So if we open these, not like that one. Where I'm at, where it's, it's yeah. going, but it's not. Right. It didn't go near as fast as the other one. Close it. And you can hear the exhaust difference, like that one's loud. Can you cover this? Yeah. See? Look at that, all the exhaust is going over that other one. But it's not, it's not going that fast. It just shut off, but you can see that. So that side's clogged. Okay guys, I just want to print out our code real quick, our P0440 that we get. Our, uh, it says right here, verify with the scan tool with the engine running at our pressures between 2 and 3.6 psi. It says right here, command it on with a scan tool. So, I'm using my bypass okay, right, tool right here. We bypass it. I have this side. I have this block pinched off on this side. The hose is pinched off, so there's nothing.
Okay, so we put the relay back in. So if we go to output controls, we'll go down to secondary air pump relay. We'll turn this on. Oh, we still can't, because I just ran this. So I gotta give it some time. Um, but it's a dormant pump that's on here, and that's probably why. But, yeah, it's a dormant pump, so I'll have to reach out to them and say, hey, got a pump here, it's not working, see if they'll do anything about it. But, uh, let's go change list, air and use up. Should be over 60 seconds now. Let's see, so, change list, nope, I don't want to change list. Custom, be select. I wish they wouldn't kick you out every time because it sucks having to select data pits over again. Let's do. Turn this on. I can see. It's like 1.8 or so, which is what we were seeing on the scan tool. Um. So. I'm gonna put the hoses back on, and we'll do the check again, and we'll compare. Compare, but I don't think it's gonna change. So, guys, I uh, connected the right side up here. I thought that was restricted. I'm connecting into our secondary air over here. I turn it on now. But same pressure there again with the bypass. So that means that nothing should be stuck open. Like we shouldn't have any leaks. Like it says, it says stuck open. I think it says stuck open because we're not achieving our pressure. And that's all it's basing it on, is pressure. As you can see, we're going from 14.4 to 16.2. So that's our 1.8 PSI. I don't know why the PSI pit doesn't update on here. But put our relay back in. So now if we turn this back on, see 16.3. So that's why 16.3 turn off. 14.5. So there's our 1.7, 1.8 PSI that we are seeing on the scan tool. So I'm telling them there's not going to be on pump. Um, I'm just going to tell them that that's restricted back there. So that might, that's going to be a future problem. Probably get an insufficient flow. But that's where we're at. So I'll get a new pump if they approve it. And we'll go from there.